Hi everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how you can install VirtualBox Extension Pack and VirtualBox Guest Editions for Linux operating systems. Before that I would like to discuss why we need Extension Pack and VirtualBox Guest Editions. First of all let's talk about Extension Pack. VirtualBox Extension Pack is a binary package intended to extend the functionality of VirtualBox. The Extension Pack adds many functionality to VirtualBox. But not to make this video long, we will only mention three of them. First, it provides support for USB 2 and USB 3 devices. The other is to host webcam pass-through. With this feature, you can connect your host webcam to a guest machine. It also provides VirtualBox remote desktop protocol. This feature allows you to control virtual machines remotely via the VirtualBox interface even if you can't connect directly to a virtual machine. Secondly, let's talk about why do we need VirtualBox Guest Editions. VirtualBox Guest Editions are a collection of device drivers and system applications designed to achieve closer integration between the host and guest operating system. They help to enhance the overall interactive performance and usability of guest systems. Main features of VirtualBox guest editions are easy mouse pointer integration, easy way to share folders between the host and the guest, better video support to accelerate video performance, better time synchronization between guest and host. The VirtualBox guest editions should be installed inside a virtual machine after the guest operating system has been installed. Since I have explained how the VirtualBox can be installed to your computer before, I will omit this step. If you need that tutorial, you can find it in my channel. It is in the tutorial that is how to install Linux CentOS 8 on Windows. Link is also provided below. Now I will show you how you can install the VirtualBox extension pack. First go to VirtualBox.org, click on the downloads which is at the left. In the open page find VirtualBox extension pack and download it. Go to Oracle Virtual Machine Virtual Manager. From the pull down menu click on file and choose preferences. In the open window click on extensions. Select the extension pack you downloaded and click open. Then press install. You should accept the license agreement. After accepting the license agreement extension pack will be installed. Now I will show how you can install VirtualBox guest edition. But before that I would like to mention that this video is not only about installing guest edition but also I covered the possible error messages that you may encounter during the installation. The reason I did this video is to make clear installation of guest edition. There are thousands of websites that may cover all the possible solutions and if you are lucky you may find a good website and solve your problems. But when you are looking for possible solutions, you may need to install many useless programs that may cause problem to your operating system. To prepare this tutorial, I installed CentOS 8 graphical user interface with the basics. By the way, you can find the tutorial which is named how to install CentOS 8 on Windows 10 in my channel. After installing CentOS 8, I tried to install guest edition. During this process, I encountered three errors that prevented guest edition to be installed. Each time I solved those problems and recorded those solutions for you. I hope by following this video step by step you can make clear installation of guest edition. One last thing I should mention is that your CentOS 8 should be updated before installing guest editions. So let's start to install guest editions. You can download the ISO file of guest editions from this website. The link is provided below. After downloading guest editions, load CentOS 8 operating system. Click on device from the pull down menu. Then click choose a disk file. Then choose the latest ISO file of guest editions. After 3 seconds, guest editions ISO file will be loaded. In this screen, press Run. 
Now enter your user password. By the way, the user should have administrator privileges. As you see, installation process has started. But after a while, as you see in the screen, we got an error message saying that kernel headers not found for target kernel 4.18.0 blah blah. Guest editions need this file for proper installation. Also, when we look at the error message, we may also have further information from vbox at dash setup dot log file. To fix this issue, we will press enter to close this window. Then we will open the terminal. We type sudo su- to have administrator privileges. Enter your password here. Type this command in the terminal and then press enter. Press yes here. Press yes again. Wait for the program to be installed. After completing the installation, reboot the operating system. Since we couldn't finish the installation process properly, we get this message at the startup. We will try the same process of installing guest edition to see whether we can install it without an error. To do that, click devices, choose optical drivers, click remove disk from virtual drive, click force unmount to remove it. Now we will insert the disk to virtual manager again. After inserting press run. Enter your password again. Wait for the installation process. Now we have another error message saying that install the GCC make Perl packages from your distribution. We will close this window and we will try to fix this problem now. Now open the terminal again. Have administrator privileges. Type this command to install GCC Perl. Press yes.
Wait for the installation to be finished and reboot the system again. After loading the CentOS 8 again, we will repeat the same steps to see whether we can install guest editions without any errors. Unmount the disk, insert the disk again. and run the program. Unfortunately, during the installation we had another error message as seen in the window. To get detailed information about the problem, we should check this log file. So close this window, open terminal, get administrator privileges, and type this command to see the log file. As seen in the screen, to fix this problem, we are required to install elfutils libelf file. So we type this command into the terminal and install elfutils. Press yes here. After finishing installation, we need to reboot the system one more time. Now CentOS 8 operating system reloaded again and we will repeat the same process one more time. After a while, guest editions is installed as seen in the screen. It looks like we had one more error, but that's not important because the installation report in the screen mentions that running kernel modules will be replaced when the system is restarted. So we close the window and reboot the system again. As seen in the warning, guest operating system supports the mouse pointer integration. Besides, CentOS 8 operating systems window can be extended depending on your desire. In this video, I tried to cover every problems that you may encounter during the guest edition installation. If you liked our video, press the like button and do not forget to subscribe our channel.